open this door and he's fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Gonna get that picture. Why is it always Tim Duggan? Tim Duggan is dead. No. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I got Sven. All right. Oh, man, this is still gonna cut it close to Brains Over Brawn because for Brain Over Brawn, I need to be in South Plaza in about five, yeah, five minutes now. So I gotta hurry it up. Um, I don't want to miss out on this. I'm going to get the machete pull thing. The pull machete. Um, oh, wait. No, I can't make it here? Oh, I thought I was able to make it here. Oh, well, I'll make the MMA gloves. Sorry, I, I guess I was watching somebody make it here on... Uh, I think it might have been that uh, sandbox mode. That's probably why I thought I could make it there. Anyway, so uh, let's head on over to Brains Over Brawn. Don't want to waste any time here. It's a good thing I got that girl now because it's gonna make it easier to get him or them, I should say. Uh, because they think you're such a player if you bring them a woman. Um, so let's see how my oh, this is gonna be an interesting ride. <laughs> oh man, I think uh, yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna stop recording after I do a familiar face. Uh, just because I'm I'm getting so hungry and I'm just blathering on and on about. Stuff I uh, that's so obvious, but you know what? I hope you guys are enjoying it. I mean, it's just like you're watching someone play this game, and this someone. It's pretty baller. I mean, his name is Chris, and he's here to say everything's better when you listen to Chris J. Oh, that should be my intro song. Ah, that's so bad. <laughs> ah, I just thought I should uh, put that out there. Anyways, um, uh, if I if I do get accepted into TNG. I think I said that right. Yeah, TNG. I, or sorry, no, TGN. I had it backwards. Ooh, ooh, that's not going to look good. Anyway, if I do get into TGN and I, I'm still recording these, I will let you know through these because I'll be so pumped and I'll need something to talk about for, I don't know, another seven hours. Let's well, let's face it. This game is going to take at least another, let's see, 55 hours in-game is approximately... Move it! Uh, let's see, 4 hours is 48, and then, uh, almost 5 hours for just until the military comes, and then it's, I think it's another hour for the, um, the part after that when the super zombies are here, and then I think it's another hour for overtime, so let's say you guys are going to be listening to me for another 7 hours. Isn't that intense? Oh, it sounds so intense to me. Alright, so Brands Over Brawn, we're cutting, it, we're cutting it pretty close, but you know what? It's not as close as those other two moments where I was like Indiana Jones and sliding into the uh, entrance at the last second. I know I made that reference before, but Indiana Jones is baller, so I can make that reference as much as I want to. So, uh, let's get this done, and then we'll hand them in and uh, we'll do familiar faces. That sounds like a pretty good plan. That's how I that's how I do my strategy. So at least I got rid of those looters. Those guys pissed me off. They're always like, I'm gonna spray paint you and steal your money. And oh, ooh, hmm. <laughs> Seems like these guys are talking about anus. Anyway, so let's uh, talk to these guys. Blah blah blah. Four nerdy guys that are like 28 years old. <sighs> oh well. See, there's a girl there, and they're going to be all like, Oh, I don't need girls, but something about action figures. And then I'm just like, action figures? And then he's just going on about how they never reject him. And I'm just watching as those guys get attacked by zombies, but it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm, see, look, he, he's just like, girls! Oh, no! And then he, like, just creams his shorts, and then now we got, like, all them joined with me. And then, uh, <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to do this. Sorry, I'm, I coughed into the mic. It's just I needed to clear my throat. I've been talking a lot, as, as you may have noticed. Uh, it's something I'm really good at is talking a lot. Whoa, why did he throw that? Okay, so I killed him. That was pretty simple. Oh, this guy better not pull up. Oh, he's pulling up the green paint thing. Oh, my God. Okay, so he died because his friend killed him. So I didn't get the experience. Ugh, I'm mad. Okay. So, let's see. Do I have anything here I would like to make? No. But I have to save Curtis. Um, oh my god, I hit Curtis. I'm sorry, Curtis. It's nothing against you dressing like a woman, I swear. Um, so I guess we're going to go through the stadium way. Huh. Well, this will be interesting. Uh, ooh. uh Let's see. 
How many people do I got here? I got seven people? Well, that's not bad. I'm pretty sure I would have had eight if something else were to happen. Oh well. It doesn't matter. Um, I know there's a lot of people that have probably already gotten the cramp quarters achievement at the first first uh, little bit at case one. I know you can get it there too. And I'm, I'm guessing it's also pretty easy to get it there. Um, Speed it up. But oh well. If you guys still don't have it, check out Let's my go. videos. I've got some achievement videos for Dead Rising that you guys may like or may not like. I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had to swallow my spit, which sounds dis disgusting, uh, but, you know, when you talk a lot, saliva builds up in your mouth, and then you slur your words, and you start to sound Scottish, but, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, if any of you are Scottish and you're watching this, I'm not saying you sound like you're drunk, I'm just saying you sound like you're Sean Connery, which is not a bad thing, I love Sean Connery, he the best. Alright, so I'm gonna get Curtis drunk, and then I'm gonna rape him, so, come on, stop hitting him, please. Oh my god, he got hit again. Come on, Curtis. Drink, you fat bastard. <laughs> oh my god, this is fun. Okay, he finally got his drink down. So, um, I'm just gonna head up to Royal Flush right now. And I'm gonna return these guys. and Because I don't want to bring them into that uh, boss battle because they'll, they'll just get fucked up. I mean, let's face it, they're... they're they're most likely going to disobey my orders to stay in a corner, and they're most likely going to run in and try to push the, the bad guy around, and let's face it, that's not going to be good for either of us. And I, I, I just don't want that. I, I really don't, because then that's a whole bunch of more work that I need to do. Um, so, <laughs> I'm actually quite lazy, as you guys may have seen, so that's why I like to bundle up a whole bunch of things it's less work less running around less videos that i have to make for you guys so you guys don't have to see me going all like oh, okay well i'm gonna take my time here and i'm gonna talk about absolutely nothing like i've been doing for the last little while now anyway so um i'm, I'm kind of just trying to avoid that so i'm gonna make a lightsaber while i wait for all of them to catch up to me uh which is probably the best idea and i do need a better weapon um so no not nails sorry there we go flashlight <clears throat> And now I've got, I'm a Sith Lord. Alright, now let's go. Come on, guys, follow me. To a place of magic and despair. I, th I don't think that's how the Aladdin song goes. Doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, as you can see, this is how I play video games. Things just pop into my mind and I say them out loud. And that's kind of why I started doing commentaries, because then I look more sane. My mom would probably be like, why are you talking to yourself? And I'll be like, mom, I'm doing a commentary. What do you think? And then she'll be like, oh, okay, well, at least we don't have to take you to get your mind examined. And I'm like, sure, that's what I want you to believe. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm not actually insane. Don't worry, guys. I've only had 12 bodies buried in my backyard. <laughs> Yet again, I'm kidding. Don't worry, guys. Um... Oh my god, okay, I almost hit Cinda. And she, well, let's face it, she's out of the kitchen. I have the right to hit her. Uh, oh my god, so many women that are watching this. Well, not really that many. Probably like 12 women that are watching this just like decided to file a complaint against me. He's a woman beater. No, I'm not. I'm far from it. <laughs> so don't worry, ladies. I'm, I'm not a woman beater. So let's see what we got going on here. Um... Uh, I do have a lot of time left for case 2-2, two -two, so I'm not really in a rush. I just hope none of them get caught again, because if they do, they're most likely going to die. Because, let's face it, they're just terrible. Um, let's see what we got going on. Uh, just going to kill these looters. I don't know why that second one didn't hit them. Oh, no, I don't like it when there's looters around these guys. Oh, what? No, okay. No, don't light them on fire. I need my survivors. Uh, what? How'd that miss? No, why am I hitting everyone? Oh, okay, good. No! Oh, shit. I'm damaging everyone. I'm surprised they're even gonna like me after this. So, let's get them back to the safe house. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go get some coffee creamer. Because I'm cool like that. That's how I roll. Oh, no, go away. Okay. So, I like how he jumps over things. Like, he actually puts his foot on top of it, and then he, like, slows himself from jumping down. He doesn't always have to grab everything and jump over it like he's in elementary school. Because I remember jumping over those fences in elementary school. It wasn't that cool. Uh, I will admit that. Oh, I just realized I threw those... that sledgehammer. That was not smart. I could have gotten that PP thing, but oh well. I don't really care. I'm too lazy to care. 
I'm gonna make myself some more knife gloves. That's how I roll. I need to make. What the hell just hit me? Hey, I'm waiting. What the hell was that? Okay, that was weird. I just like got hit in midair. If you guys saw that, maybe I hit the ceiling with my head. I pulled a Mario. Maybe I don't know. It didn't make sense to me. <clears throat> but uh, anyways, yeah, let's get back to the gameplay at hand. Uh, gonna make me some weapons because I know I'm gonna be getting into a boss battle pretty soon, so I'm gonna want them. <sighs> Time to make myself a nail bat, and then hopefully these guys will have caught up to me by then. And I think the looters might be still following them. I think that's what hit me. I think it was looters because I saw these guys getting damaged a little bit. Huh. Unless that was still just damage from me. Mm, could be. Anyways, let's uh, get these guys returned. Hopefully some of them will give me money. I like it when they give me money because then I feel important. Like, hey, they gave me money. Hooray. Uh, <laughs> so let's see what we got going here. Uh, one guy. Where'd he go? Okay, no, he's with the group now. <clears throat> I am running out of time for phase two, too, though. That's not good. That's not good at all. I don't want to run out of time. All right. Take a break from talking for a second. I'm going to drink some water while it's loading. Ah, some good old throat lubrication, you know? Because then your mouth gets all dry, and so does your throat, and then you talk like an old raspy person. You don't want that. You don't want that in a commentary. You don't want to sound like you're 90 and playing video games, because then if you're bad at the video game and the 90-year-old is great, then you just feel like shit because you're like, oh my god, my grandpa is literally better than I am. Ah, uh, but, oh well. So now we are going to go battle to the death with that hippie. So technically, I wish, well, not technically, I just wish we could dress up like Cartman and then go into here and then I could be like, I got damn hippies! I hate the hippies. That was a terrible impression, but you know how Cartman hates his hippies. Uh, well, that's if you guys are old enough to watch South Park, which I hope you guys are. Nice. But uh, South Park is probably one of the greatest shows ever made, even though it's so incredibly racist, but it's funny. Uh, so I'm going to make myself another nail bat. Um, always good to have weapons. I like to keep my inventory half food, half weapons. That way, if you're in trouble, you got the food and you got the weapons to get yeah, out of like the situation that you're in. It's a smart little tactic I like to make. <clears throat> so we're going to head on over to Familiar Face, which instead of being in uh, in the Americana Casino, is in Uranus Zone this time. And